right here we go friday may 17th hey if i'm doing a video that means that something's finally happening in the atmosphere it looks like it's going to be quite an active seven day period here you'll see that on this extended outlook and i'm worried a little bit about severe weather and a lot about heavy torrential rains over this seven day period especially from sunday through next thursday all right let's get into it the, this is the european computer model guidance right now and what you're looking at are the height anomalies in our atmosphere and these blue areas here are shrinking or contracting areas of heights within our atmosphere and of course these orange areas are expanding areas within our atmosphere so you can see this is a ridge here over the eastern united states as we head into this weekend and early next week and of course we would then have a trough out to the northwest of minnesota and wisconsin which is located here now i'm going to rewind this and i want to show you what happens now look at this blue area this is uh the, again these are contracting heights or shrinking heights i also consider this kind of like a manufacturing plant out here for storms storms like to develop on the southern and eastern edge of these lowering heights and then they usually will shoot east and northeast uh, along with these lowering heights now watch what happens as we go through time this is uh early this weekend now and then as we head into sunday and then monday of next week look at this manufacturing plant out here just sits and spins north and west of minnesota that would put us in the storm track all right and the problem is is that not only does it sit there and spin through tuesday but also even as we head into thursday of next week look at this it starts to break down a little bit but we are still in that zone storm track zone for that manufacturing plant and that's one of the reasons why I'm very concerned about heavy rains across the upper Midwest, especially southern Minnesota and Wisconsin. Now here are the winds at 30 to 35,000 feet at jet stream level. And here they are now today and as we go into tonight and tomorrow. And look at this, this is a pretty powerful jet stream now surging east into the Dakotas. This is gonna produce some severe weather up in North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota overnight tonight. Now that jet stream kind of sits and uh, at, and it continues to roar from southwest to northeast just to the northwest of southern Minnesota and Wisconsin. This is going to put us, especially on Sunday and Monday, in a prime area for lift because we are going to be at the base of one jet streak here over northwestern Minnesota and then another jet streak which will be moving into the central and southern plains. We're right in the middle. That's a great area for lift as we head into Sunday and Monday. And the problem again is, is that this jet stream kind of sits in place so that by Tuesday, which really looks like an ugly day here in the upper Midwest, look at, we are in between two jet streaks, one to the south of us and one to the north of us. And here's Minnesota and Wisconsin. That is a perfect area for heavy rain and lots of lift in our atmosphere. And that continues even as we get into Thursday evening. Look at this, the jet stream near or just northwest of us, which still again puts us in a great area for lift. So yeah, no doubt we are in a wet, stormy weather pattern as we head into later this weekend, so Sunday through next Thursday. This is the NAM computer model guidance, just a little bit of a different look at the jet stream level at 30 to 35,000 feet. And I really wanted to fast forward it here to uh, Sunday and Monday. Look at this. Uh, it really mimics the European computer model guidance for where these jet streaks are located. Again, we are going to be in the middle of these jet streaks, which is a great area for lift. Now, when you look at the temperatures in the lower layers of our atmosphere, look how warm it is as we go into today over the upper Midwest. And that warmth continues even into Saturday. But it's pretty obvious that as we get into next week, this is now Sunday and then Monday of next week, and then even into as we get into Monday night, you can see we're going to have a battle of air masses as some pretty cold air for this time of the year is going to be up in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Meanwhile, hot air will be over the central and southern plains. We are going to be in the middle, which is the battle zone. Another great reason why storms are going to be riding southwest to northeast across the upper Midwest as we go into not only later Sunday, but then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday of next week. We'll try to pin down the timing a little bit better as we uh, go through the weekend. Now, I did wanna focus uh, on Sunday evening 
because that's when the onslaught of precipitation is going to really start will be Sunday evening and then of course continue into next week but this is Sunday evening now right around uh, 6 or 7 in the evening and this is the NAM computer model guidance and look at how it's got some fairly strong winds now developing in the middle layers of our atmosphere this is at 20 to 25,000 feet now when we go down to 10 to 15,000 feet look at how the winds continue strong at uh, as we go lower in our atmosphere and then even at five to seven thousand feet we have a what's called a low level jet that will be surging north into southern minnesota and western wisconsin on sunday evening all right and uh, that's a uh, again another great recipe for developing showers and thunderstorms and some of them heavy with heavy rains as we get into sunday evening so a real great recipe starting on sunday night for heavy rains across the upper Midwest. Okay, as we look at the uh, Cape Valley, this is energy in our atmosphere. And I'm gonna put this into motion. We start off today and look at this, even today, we do have some energy in the atmosphere over, over the Dakotas and Minnesota, hence the reason why some fairly strong thunderstorms are likely going to, to develop over North Dakota, Northwestern Minnesota later this evening and overnight. Now. Don't be surprised if we get a storm or two in here tomorrow morning, by the way. So keep an eye out of the sky, even tomorrow morning. But really, the big event is going to occur on Sunday. Now, Saturday, which of course is tomorrow, look at this. We even have some fairly high Cape values here over southeastern Minnesota and western Wisconsin. So this could trigger a few scattered storms. But watch what happens. And again, this is what I really wanted to concentrate on. This is later Sunday. And let me just rewind this a little bit and go through Sunday again. This is Sunday morning. And look at how the Cape Valleys are increasing over Nebraska and Iowa. And watch how they surge north as we go through the day on Sunday and Sunday evening. This is going to set us up for even the potential for some severe weather over southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and portions of western Wisconsin later Sunday night and into Monday morning. So keep that in mind. And this is a similar scenario that will redevelop again on Tuesday, I think, and then maybe even Thursday of next week. And that's one of the reasons why I've got much of our region in an area that has high potential for heavy rains here as we go through that five-day period from Sunday of this weekend through Thursday of next week as a uh, jet streak is just north and west of us. And then you get this low-level jet moving north into southern Minnesota and western Wisconsin and that would be uh, right along where storm systems will track from southwest to northeast through southern Minnesota and western Wisconsin a real nice setup again for heavy rains and even potentially for some severe weather okay looking at the uh, extended forecast now real quickly look at all these opportunities for showers and storms as we get into uh, Friday night or tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then again, Sunday evening into Monday, and then a real ugly day the way it appears on Tuesday with heavy rain and some pretty cool temperatures for this time of the year. And then one more time here on Thursday. I, I know it's a lot to take in here over the next seven days, and this will change some, but uh, the screaming message here is that we have the potential for a lot of liquid here soaking rains at times potentially even flooding rains over the next five to seven day period hey one last thing thank you weather safe restoration for sponsoring this uh, video really appreciate it and i know everybody that's watching this appreciates weather safe for sponsoring novak weather give them a call if you have any issues on the exterior of your house like your roof like i had last year give mike and his team a call there at weather safe they will take care of you all right everyone thanks for joining me We'll have more videos here over the next five to seven days.